Good day, we are from group 1 and would like to explain to you on the derivation on energy balance for PFR with constant heat transfer with temperature which is known as TA. Since the TA value is constant, the variation of fluid temperature TA down the length of reactor is always equal to zero. As we can see, the value for both co-current flow and counter-current flow equation is zero for constant heat transfer fluid temperature TA. Thus, this is negligible. This is the equation for co-current flow and this is the equation for counter-current flow. Now, let's apply the algorithm learnt before to flow reactors. For the gas phase, if the reaction is in gas phase and pressure drop is excluded, the two differential equations A and B must be solved simultaneously. This equation A and B is differential equation which describes the change in temperature with volume as we move down the reactor. A is the differential equation of energy balance, meanwhile B is the differential equation of mole balance. If we have a pressure drop, pressure drop equation C must be included and used to solve simultaneously with other two equations A and B. For the liquid phase, the rate is not a function of total pressure as the effect of pressure on liquid is negligible as shown in the mole balance equation D. Consequently, we need to solve equation A and D simultaneously. We can continue from the algorithm we learned from previous chapters and just add the energy balance to it. Energy balance for tubular reactor PFR can be written into the expression below. While for a packed back reactor, since dW equals to bulk density times by dV, the equation can be expressed as the one below instead. Now, let's look at the algorithm for PFR or PBR design for gas phase reactions with heat effects. For example, let's look at an elementary gas phase reversible reaction in a PFR with no pressure drop. Let's look at case 1, conversion as the reaction variable. And the steps I'm about to explain is if we need to find the conversion. First off, we need to find the mole balance and this equation is chosen because the reaction occurs in a PFR. Secondly, we need to find the rate law. The fact that it is a reversible elementary reaction should be taken into consideration. Then, the Arrhenius equation is used to get the reaction constant. Then, the delta Cp value is approximately zero. Why? Because the value of the mean heat capacity constant for species A, B, and C does not vary much from each other. Therefore, this equation is used to find the equilibrium constant for this reaction. Thirdly, we need to find the stoichiometry. Since the reaction is in gas phase and there is no changes in pressure, the stoichiometry is as follows. These equations can be derived by referring to chapter 3. Finally, we need to find the energy balance. The energy balance for the coolant is neglected as there is no variation in its temperature. After inputting all explicit variables for when conversion is the independent variable, with the initial values T0 and X equals to 0 at V equals to 0, and final values of VF, a sample graph can be plotted. Figure 1 shows the graph of temperature against volume of the reactor for constant Ta for reversible exothermic reaction in a PFR with heat exchange. Whereas figure 1b shows the graph of temperature against volume of reactor for the constant Ta for endothermic reaction in a PFR with heat exchange. Now let's look at case 2, molar flow rate as the reaction variable. 
we would need the following equations instead. First off, we need the mole balances for each species. Then we need the rate law which is the same as the previous case. Thirdly, we need the stoichiometry. And finally, we need the energy balance. By inputting all of the explicit variables for when molar flow rate is the independent variable, which is exactly similar to case 1, except that the inlet values Fe0 and Fb0 are specified instead of x at v equals to 0. A sample graph can be plotted. Figure 2a shows the graph of conversion against volume of reactor for the constant Ta for reversible exothermic reaction in a PFR with heat exchange. Figure 2b shows the graph of conversion against volume of reactor for constant Ta endothermic reaction in a PFR with heat exchange. Solving this for PBR, the methods are all the same except we need to change the energy balance equation accordingly and the pressure drop is considered. That's all from us. Thank you everybody for watching until the end.